Could Marco Rubio and Christy Noem soon play leading roles in Donald Trump's administration? Reports in the U.S. media suggest that Marco Rubio, a senator from Florida, is a strong candidate for Secretary of State, while Christy Noem, the governor of South Dakota, might become the next Secretary of Homeland Security. This news has sparked interest across political circles, as these appointments could significantly impact U.S. foreign policy and national security strategies. According to CBS News, Trump's team is discussing Rubio as a potential Secretary of State. Known for his tough stance on China and Iran, Rubio has also played a key role on the Senate Intelligence and Foreign Relations Committees. And if chosen, he would serve as America's top diplomat, overseeing international relations at a critical time. Rubio's experience and viewpoints make him a fitting choice for those who support a stronger, more assertive U.S. presence on the world stage. This decision would also mean bridging a complex relationship with Trump, who previously had a heated rivalry with Rubio during the 2016 Republican primaries. At the same time, military veteran and Congressman Michael Waltz is likely to be appointed as National Security Advisor. Waltz, who served as a Green Beret with multiple combat tours in Afghanistan, the Middle East, and Africa, has frequently voiced the need for America to prepare for potential conflicts in the Pacific, especially with China. His military experience and deep understanding of defense strategy could shape the national security policies of Trump's second term. This role does not require Senate approval, so Waltz's appointment could happen quickly if Trump moves forward with it. For Homeland Security, Christy Noem is being considered. Known for her conservative approach and background in farming and state governance, Noam could take charge of key responsibilities related to border security, cybersecurity, and emergency response. Her position would require close coordination with Tom Homan, Trump's border czar, and Stephen Miller, his policy advisor, as they work together to fulfill Trump's immigration goals. Given the large budget and workforce of the Department of Homeland Security, Noam's appointment would signal a strong focus on border protection and domestic security issues under Trump's administration. These potential appointments come as Trump's team begins to shape his new administration, aiming to implement strong policies on immigration, international alliances, and defense. Trump has already chosen Susie Wiles as Chief of Staff and Congresswoman Elise Stefanik as his nominee for U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. Each of these appointments reflects Trump's commitment to a robust security-focused team, though some roles, like Secretary of State, would need Senate confirmation. The selection of Rubio, Waltz, and Noam could represent a more aggressive stance on global issues like U.S.-China relations, the conflict in Ukraine, and immigration control. Rubio's experience as a foreign policy hawk may lead to a diplomatic approach that balances tough conversations with cooperation. Meanwhile, Waltz's military perspective could prioritize preparedness and stronger defense alliances, while Noem's role might lead to heightened border security and a stricter immigration framework. My perspective is that these appointments might bring stronger cohesion to Trump's foreign and domestic policies, especially with the challenges the U.S. currently faces on multiple fronts. However, it remains essential that these appointees can effectively collaborate and address complex global issues while also focusing on America's internal security. What do you think? Could these appointments enhance America's security and stability, or might they introduce new challenges? Share your thoughts in the comments.